Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about American Fork, Utah. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna to be talking about American Fork, all about the city, about the types of houses, the things to do while you're here in American Fork. I'm standing here in Art Dye Park. It's a large acreage park here in American Fork that has everything from baseball and pickleball courts to uh, biking trails and disc golf courses. I'm out here in front of the American Fork Fitness Center and swimming pool. Now the pool is open year round, so in the winter they put a bubble over the, the pool so you can use it and access it year round. So if you have a membership or, or what have you, this is one of those places you can come. Most of the other cities we've shown you so far have had splash pads, American Fork doesn't, but it's because they do have a community pool. Um, in the summertime, it, the outdoor pool is really cool. It's got some water slides and diving boards in it. It's, it's a pretty exciting pool. As far as the community center, it's awesome. It's got the basketball courts, it's got uh, weightlifting, a track, all sorts of things that you can ever want when it comes to a fitness center. There's over 25 parks in American Fork City that range off from baseball fields, you've got playgrounds, you've got biking paths and trails. So I'm in the heart of the shopping district in American Fork. Now within about a half mile of, of where I'm at right now is almost all of the major shopping and retail type stores that American Fork has to offer. Uh, behind me this way, uh, back by that home goods store, there's a Home Depot, a Walmart, um, a Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm in the Kohl's parking lot currently and there's also a Burlington Co. Factory which is kind of a discount store where you can get a good deal on uh, clothes. It's similar to a Marshalls. Um, and then on the other side that's just over this way, there's Targets, there's Big Five Sporting Goods, there's a Dollar Tree. There's all sorts of different chain stores. There's also a lot of little boutique stores and little shoe stores and things that you can go and shop. There's also a Hobby Lobby down here um, for your crafting supplies and all of that. American Fork is one of the older cities in Utah County and there's houses that range all from 100 years plus old to brand new and modern. There are about 38,000 residents who lived in American Fork in 2018. The median purchase price in American Fork to buy a home is about $392,000. Now if you take out the townhomes, the condos, the median purchase price for a single family home actually goes up to $410,000. There are a few areas here in American Fork that have smaller homes on smaller lots. These homes were built right after World War II when all of the soldiers came back and they needed a place that was relatively affordable. So we do have some of that, but we also do have large estate lots that sit on half acres and have you know four or five thousand square foot homes de depending where you're at in the city. American Fork High School. So all of the public schools here in American Fork are a part of the Alpine School District. The high school is no different. Almost everyone who lives in American Fork comes to American Fork High School. There's also some people that live in Highland, Cedar Hills, and Pleasant Grove that come to uh, American Fork High School, just kind of depending on where they live in the city. American Fork also is the home to the Alpine School District headquarters. It's on First East in American Fork, so if you need to go get fingerprints so that you can go on field trips with your kids in the Alpine School District, that's where you go to get that done. American Fork High School is a 5A school. It's primarily known for its excellent marching band program and they actually go up all around the, the country and compete and they do really well 
and that's one of the things that they're really known for. Their basketball and cheerleading programs are, are also uh, top notch. So in these videos, I really like to talk about my favorite restaurants. The places that if you were to come in from out of town, that and you could only go to one restaurant in the city where I would recommend. And for American Fork, it's pretty hard. There's a handful of good, really good restaurants that I really like eating at. And I kind of narrowed it down to two. The first being La Costa Mexican restaurant. But I feel like I've been to too many Mexican restaurants in these community videos and you think that's all I really enjoy. So my second choice was uh, Kitchen 88. You can see it behind me here, or it's also sometimes referred to as K88. It's really good. It's kind of a American bistro. It's just, there's really no other restaurants I've been to that are, are quite like it. If you come here, I would recommend getting the beehive. It's an appetizer, but when I get it, I eat it like an entree. It is loaded fries with giant pieces of just perfectly cooked steak on top, as well as cheese and, and uh, other uh, toppings, and it is amazing. Everything I've eaten here has been fantastic, and I would highly recommend you try it if you get the opportunity to come to American Fork. With that being said, thank you for joining me on our tour of American Fork. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer them. We help people move to Utah all the time from out of state or even in state and would love to be a resource to help you through the process and show you everything about the communities and anything you need to know moving to American Fork, Utah.